the world. The world is made of bone and dirt, mesquite and hematite. I use my eyes to peer into an everyday with the Cidos me da licencia. Cold alcohol body rubs to combat a fever, peroxide and yerba buena to fix the cracks and blisters on hardworking hands. You see, I was a child nurse bandaging my father's hands abusive in my youth. Not because I loved him, but because we needed his paycheck. I walked around with a burnt basil leaf in my earaches because I needed to understand English if I was to learn. Moonlit strolls reflecting a silver path across a shallow Rio Bravo rode a bit on a coyote's shoulder, for you see, even young five-year-olds can drown in shallow dreams. I hid in trains. It was the first thing I rode anything with wheels that hijacked me to a new home. Nine-day-a-week jobs and ten-minute meals no one sat at the table. Everyone had to pay the bills. I paid the light as a bar back. She worked double shifts and he hit Gloria's bar every other day. Orange trees and plums, apples in tomato crates in corners of green cucumbers lined in sweet strawberries because my parents yearned to plant a crop and Praise some gods for a harvest that could fit in my t-shirts. I know the smell of distant rain in the breeze and the time just by looking at the sky. My house is filled with yellow brick walls and red vases with white roses. My eyes are tired of glaring at blank rooms. My head is filled with books and pencils my mom made me read even when the lights went out. Candles are infallible, she would say. Remember each word, she said, like a memory. Taste the image, bite the emotion, feel the breeze your blood brings when you reach the next page. My world is guilty existence examining brown smiles and chihuahua dogs that guard the night. I managed to get over the rat race wall. I burrowed under it, translated it, danced a polka on it, on it, played a surdo on top of it, and stopped beating myself up because I worked so hard that I neglected my soul. In my world, I only see color. I only hear laughter between the screams, and the only thing I fight back sometimes are the tears. List of locations where Mexicans have been denied service. From the Angel Barreles papers, approximately 1940s. San Angelo, Texas. Curie Drugstore, Texas Grill, North Lakewood Street. Owner, George Wiley. Red Top Inn, 1320 North Playboy Street. Owner, Ed Bolton. San Diego Servicio Americano. Service is denied to Mexicans. Rotan, Texas. City Barbershop. Vitito Barbershop, Alton Park Barbershop, Todas estas barberías negaron servicios al Sargento Alejandro Martinez y paracaísta Frank Velas, al soldado Guillermo González y a 55 más soldados. All these barbershops denied service to Sergeant Alejandro Martinez, to paratrooper Frank Velas, to soldier Guillermo Gonzalez and 55 more Mexican American soldiers. Bluntser, Texas. Los niños mexicanos están separados de los niños angloamericanos en estas escuelas elementales. El mejor edificio lo usan los angloamericanos mientras que los niños mexicanos se educan en un jacal destartalado. The Mexican children are separated from the Anglo American elementary school. The best building is used by the Anglo-American, while the Mexican children are taught in a beat-up shack. Midland, Texas. Los Mexicanos se, se, son segregados por, lo, por ser obligado que usen un balcón en la sección reservada para negros en el teatro, en el teatro Lucan, Ritz y Rex. A los Mexicanos se les niega el servicio en los restaurantes. En el Ritz Café hay un 
que dice, aquí no se admita mexicanos. Mexicans are segregated and are obligated to use a balcony section reserved for blacks in the Yuga, Ritz, and Rex theaters. Mexicans are denied service in restaurants. In the Ritz Cafe, there is a sign that says, no Mexicans. Corpus Christi, Texas. La un consiguiente del consulado de México se le cobró 10 centavos por una soda que valía solamente 5 en el drive-in stand. Cuando preguntó por qué se le cobraba esa cantidad, se le contestó porque era mexicano. A consul for the Mexican consulate was charged 10 cents for a soda that cost only 5 in the drive-in stand. When he asked why he was charged that amount, he was told it was because he was Mexican. Rules of the Guatemala Guatemala This should be posted in every classroom until the end of the school. No more than one child out of the classroom at one time. They might run away if monarch butterflies fly tugged in the direction of the wind. Two, the upstairs classes will not make noise because there are no walls between the classes and the noise carries downstairs too. The noise that needs to be made should flame out in the bonfire out of the roof with sunlight. Any mother coming into the classroom, send them to the principal's office, unless they are teacher's helpers. They need to go to help the principal birth a soul that can speak and spell the words of revolution and work and hands and speak and huelga. Four, no running in the hallways or the stairways, waiting for nighttime to, when you can run and race around in the dark yelling you caught a star on the tip of your tongue and then realize you ran around till morning and it is the dew on the tips of your tea leaves you taste. No screaming or shouting in the classrooms, hallways, or stairwells. Shout on paper, write boldly, in a book, in the middle of an open field, in the streets, in the classroom, make sure your voice shrills. No throwing paper or trash on the floor. In my class, I will teach you to throw Molotov cocktails, bright orange ones that whistle in the air, and when they smash on these crazy school walls, they will burst in a bright yellow, the scent of 